defending's becoming an afterthought now with football. I think you know you, you look at you look at the players that have that have come through. You know more often than not now. You know, 10, 15 years ago, not even that long ago. First and foremost, you wanted your centre back to be able to defend. If I'm going to spend X amount of money as a manager, first and foremost, can he defend? Now it seems to be first and foremost, can he play out from the back? You know, and, and Arsenal for me have been one of the prime examples over the years. They've been they've been so open at home to the counter attack from the lesser teams. You know, we saw West Ham do it, we saw Olympiacos do it. They're the dominant force. Opposition sit back, know that they haven't got that. As in terms of the leader figure, I'm on about the one that gets gives the instructions out. If a fullback's flying forward, listen, you stay in here, we keep our shape, let them get on with it up there. And they've been so vulnerable to counter attacks so and no disrespect to teams that they shouldn't have been vulnerable to. And I think that's something that if you look at the European teams, you look at your likes of Bayern Munich, teams like that, the Italian teams, they can still defend when they need to. You know, Barcelona, as, as, as Rio said, they don't have to defend that much because they're constantly having the ball. But I think if we have centre-backs in this country and we have defenders, there's still some very good ones. But I think if you look at when Rio was playing, I think if you look at Coley's days, the defenders aren't what they used to be in this country, in my opinion anyway. I don't, I don't think the leaders, I think first and foremost, they all want to fly forward. And even your centre-halves want to get the ball and start playing it when first and foremost you are a defender. And I think that's a real detriment to the team yeah, as well. Yeah.